Hey Capricorns and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your daily love reading for July 30th. Remember this message doesn't have to have to happen today. Depends on where you're at in your timeline, but um, just take the messages that fits and leave what don't. So let's get started. Jeez. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn in love today? Thank you. Wow. You guys have the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands making an offer to somebody um, that will turn out to be very, very successful. This, you could be making an offer to somebody who's very well known as well, known in the community, um, just very successful in their own right. What is Capricorn's person's energy? And remember, these energies can be vice versa. All right, the person you are dealing with is at a distance from you, but that distance is going to be closing soon. They are moving towards you or you are them. The energy coming in towards you is the Three of Swords. So this could have started out as a third party and you are moving um, towards the third party Capricorn or they are moving towards you but whatever you're doing you're finding success. Spirit's advice is the Wheel of Fortune could be dealing with a Sagittarius here um, but this is all about allowing the old to leave, allowing change, not fighting it because it's going to happen either way. So whether you fight it or you go with it. It's coming in for you, but when you go for it, oh man, does it go a hell of a lot better. All right, and the outcome of this connection. All right, let's get one more on that moon just because it's major arcana and the outcome. All right, bottom of the deck and shared energy is the hermit. You have retreated. You have not been speaking to this person possibly it could have been very silent but you needed the silence to decide which direction you are moving in or your person did this to you could be dealing with a virgo but this the delay the silence the retreating had to happen so one of you could find their spiritual direction they had to find um go soul searching in order to know which way to move um but but in that time of silence you heard the wake-up call you heard the horn blowing and you now realize who you're meant to spend this lifetime with there was a lot of confusion here a lot of <clears throat> illusions that were tried to be passed oops um you know that somebody tried to make you believe um but it's now moving forward um you're coming out of the hermit and you're moving forward making this love offer why is the Page of Pentacles in the Six of Wands here? Yeah, by you making this offer to this fire sign, um, or we got fire, fire, because <laughs> I don't feel the swords are, air. yeah, we got fire or Pisces here, or Cancer. But um, when you make this offer to somebody that you see as moving successfully forward in the future um it does bring some sadness this didn't this decision didn't come easy for you capricorn because you knew you were going to break someone's heart um but you knew your two of cups was not where you were at so you even though it breaks your heart to hurt somebody else you are moving forward and making somebody else an offer um opening that huge door of opportunity for the two of you why is the three of wands here for their person? This person's been at a distance from you for quite some time, been waiting for this offer, waiting for you to come back um, because they knew the connection the two of you had was very deep, um, soul deep. This is a past life soulmate, um, but they've been patiently waiting uh, for your return, for your offer. Um, the energy coming in for you is the healing of this third party situation, the healing of this heartache that um, all, everybody in this situation has been feeling. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, this is going to, the energy of this healing heart is going to happen um, after you move away from a situation that's been pretty hectic, been pretty um, rough waters here and moving into something that is more calming, peaceful, 
inner peace is big here. Um, going through a divorce for some of you, um, for others going through this major transformation that you have been um, going through. This could have stemmed off of meeting this person when the two of you first met or came together. Holy crap, it triggered you into this spiritual awakening to where the other person had to retreat um, to deal with their part of the awakening and you were left there to deal with your emotions, to mend this broken heart, to get over the sadness um, so you could move forward for the other side of it. Um, the same thing, you could have been triggered. This could have triggered like your spiritual awakening, but this is, this is getting off the ground. This is taking that leap of faith, landing on your feet and making a go of this with it being successful. Everyone's prayers being answered, hopes coming true, wishes being granted. This is a very positive energy after you move out of a situation that you're not meant to be in. Because the universe is here to change things up. The wheel is turning. You can't stop it. So go with it. Um, things are leaving your life that are meant to go. But in the same turn of the wheel, blessings are coming in abundance. Um, this could be when uh, Jupiter goes direct in Sagittarius, which I believe is August 10th or somewhere around there. But this is just going with the flow of change. This is karmically things. Something karmic is leaving your life. So your blessings can come in. Um, so you can get your um, emotions, you know, put together, back on track. Um, and so you can follow your true heart's desire. So you can be with who you truly feel in your heart you're meant to be with and close out these cycles or a major life cycle with somebody that you were in a relationship with, a karmic partner. Um, your outcome is the moon. Secrets are coming out and things are being illuminated about some situation in the past where there was cheating, sneaking, deceit. Um, this could have been what caused the broken heart and the sadness. Um, but either way, it's coming to light. Everything that was done in the dark is now being exposed. Um, but when you follow your intuition and move forward and get out of the situation where you are having to sneak around... Um, you're going to break that bond. This is this is a karmic partner leaving your life. The divine is stepping in to bring that karmic situation to an end and ending this bond legally or karmically with this person. Um, this is very positive. Getting out of a situation you don't feel you um, are meant to be in, following your true heart's desire, um, and with that, a huge offer and opportunity opens up for you, Capricorn. Amazing. Big offers coming in when you walk away from this. Whether you are the one doing it or experiencing it, when you let go of this karmic situation, big opportunities, big abundance, big love comes your direction with a big new beginning that you can jump in wholeheartedly. And uh, wow. Yeah, so invest in your own happiness. Do what's best for you, Capricorn, and move forward, allowing that change, allowing new beginnings to happen because um, the divine is here to bring you many blessings. So allow it, accept it, receive it because um, they're all here for you, Capricorn. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and God bless.